Good morning, Kay here from Sarah Organics All Natural Skin Care from Seed to Skin. Um, I'm making calendula ointment today and it's a beautiful spring day but I actually don't have much calendula actually out there in the garden. It's uh, We've had a very, very hard end of winter and start of spring. So, um, but I still have uh, a little bit of um, my calendula infused oil that I make um, as the flowers come on. So um, have a little look here. So I've got my um, my spring one. That was great. We had a fantastic harvest last spring. So I've still got a little bit of that left. Um, this was from last winter. And um, I only use it to just just to the tap just to the tap and that's because when you're dealing with um, products from um, from the earth from natural ingredients um, you're gonna get it's it's not straightforward uh, you get um, a lot of sediment so that if you can see that's all the sediment from um, last year's batch, my winter batch. Um, I do, I make probably about, um, I get about um, three or four uh, 25 litre containers of oil and I use this beautiful Tuscan oil. Um, it's actually um, biodynamic and um, biodynamic and they um, come from Victoria. So this is the last of my badge. There you go, look at that colour. Isn't it beautiful? And so that's the, the last of um, my winter batch and looking forward to having my um, clench of the flowers start to come up. And this is my beautiful beeswax from um, my local grower, Tony Bee. And Oh, it still smells of honey. It's absolutely beautiful. Do you know, you can't actually make these into candles. There is so much honey still left in here because he, he melts it. He extracts the honey the good old-fashioned way. And um, so the beeswax is, um, is left with quite a lot of honey in it. It's so beautiful. So this is my calendula ointment. It's all... Melted. I've got my beeswax in there. It's all ready to go. It's been sitting on the on the stove here, slowly, slowly melting. Um, when I do um, ointments days, it's a very, very slow um, because you can't speed these things up because you're blending um, oil and waxes together, and you don't want to get that temp you don't want to get that temperature up there where it starts to scold or it gets too hot. So it's a very, very slow process. And it's the secret. And uh, so I'm about to um, start cooling it down and um, and putting it and jarring it up, which I'm very excited about. Um, on my calendula ointment um, Facebook page um, in the shop, you can see uh, all the stages like that we've we've grown the flowers, we've picked the flowers, and processing the flowers. Um, so, and I will put in. I'll process it. Probably takes. Oh goodness, with um, calendula it probably takes a good say three months or so to make a, very, a really nice calendula oil and then I can put that safely into my cool room uh, because it's it's a rather cool cool room and um, I can keep that in there for uh, for even you know, up to up to a year it's it's absolutely beautiful and uh, and very stable once I fit through a very secret process though um, so anyway, I'd better get on with it. Calendula ointment. Um, manufacturing today. Ciao.